Hey there, YouTube. Look who's in the background. Right there. It's Shogun. Say hi. <laughs> Anyways, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Happy Tuesday. Today is the 24th of July. Oh my gosh, it's my niece's birthday and I have not called her yet. I need to do that before the day is over. But anyways, uh, today's Tuesday and I've got another video for you in my series of my makeup declutter. Tonight I am going to be showing you all my foundations. This for real is going to be a short video because I'm beat, I'm tired, just finished running with my run club, did over two miles tonight, and I hung around with my club members for a little bit because I haven't been there in a few weeks. I've been intermittent fasting and I'm starving right now. I'm just debating whether or not I'm going to break my fast uh, because I'm hungry and I'm starting to get a headache and I need some nourishment. I've only had one meal today and that's not good. Uh, usually when I intermittent fast, I still get my three meals in during my window of eating. But today, just I had a lot of stuff going on and I didn't get a chance to eat. And I think I'm just going to readjust my hours. Anywho, let's get into this video, show you my foundations, my keeps, and my throwaways. And here we go. Here is my foundation collection. For the sake of time, I have already separated my keeps and throwaways. So let's first go with my throwaways. Here I have some Mary Kay foundation from when I used to be a Mary Kay consultant. And so of course I tried out everything. Here are these little black tubes. These are CC creams and I have them in various colors. These two are the ones that closely match me. This one is a little too light and this one is a little too dark, but they have SPF 15. I don't know if you can see that. And uh, these were nice. Very light coverage. It's a CC cream but I just don't really use them anymore. Here we have a compact uh, cream to, no, it's just a cream foundation. And, oops, sorry for the flash, you all. I actually really loved this when I used it, but I think it is actually a little too dark for me, and it's old. I haven't used it in forever. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. But I am going to keep the case in the event that someday I repurchase the foundation. Here it is again. This is what it looks like outside of the compact case. This is just a little casing that it comes in. I didn't realize I used this one, but obviously I did. I don't know if it's a different color or not as to why I used both of them instead of the one that's in the compact but once again this is old and I'm getting rid of this here is a powder foundation from Mary Kay and I think this one was too dark for my skin tone so it never really worked out with me using it and here is another one of those oh this is a, a sheer pressed powder foundation to go over, I guess, to set your makeup. Getting rid of that too. Moving on, these MAC foundations, these are, what are these? I don't even know what line of foundation in MAC these are, but these are probably the very first foundations I've ever owned in my life. I've probably had these for about 15 years. Please don't judge me, I don't know why I've had these. These have stuck with me over, uh, I think, five or six states over the last 15 years. <laughs> oh my gosh. These are in the color NC50. I stopped wearing MAC because it really made me oily and I just didn't like that. But at the same time, back when I wore these foundations, I didn't know much about makeup, how to apply it. I didn't know about setting powders. So I'd be curious to see how they work if I tried them again. However, these two bottles are super old and they need to be thrown out. So bye-bye. Here 
is actually one of my favorites. This is Ulta Beauty brand tinted moisturizer with SPF 30 sunscreen. This one here I think just happened to be an old tube because whenever I squeeze it out, a bunch of clear liquid comes out. And I don't think that's what's supposed to happen. But the color itself is a great match for me. It's got the SPF in it, so I got my sun's prote sun protection. It's a very light coverage. It's light on your face. I just love this stuff. I actually went and bought another bottle. So this is what I wear when I don't want to do full face makeup. I just put this on with a little setting powder and it gives me a very natural, flawless look without looking too made up. And I get so many compliments when I wear it. And they're like, oh, your skin is so beautiful. And I'm like, oh, if only you knew it's makeup, but thank you. But I'm gonna get rid of this particular tube because of, I think it's an old tube. The product has separated and I'm getting clear liquid out of it. Here is ColourPop. If you've seen my prettiest video, prettiest, <laughs> my previous videos, the ColourPop No Filter Foundation, I do not like it. It is pretty much a full bottle. I actually bought two foundations. Both of them were the wrong color. This one is lighter than the one that you've seen me in my videos. So I'm gonna find somebody to see if they want this. I literally only pumped it once just to see the color match. Um, hey, if any of you are interested in having this, if you're okay with it being used, once again, you can see that it's still a really clean bottle. I've literally only pumped it once and it probably wasn't even a full pump just to see the color match. This is in the color medium dark 135. So if anyone is interested, um, I'm more than willing to send it to you. Uh, let me know. Then I have this Wet n Wild Mocha and I have the Maybelline Matte and Poreless in the color 355 Coconut. These both were too dark for me, but I do like both foundation formulas, and so I will probably give these on to somebody who could use them in a darker color. And then finally, I have this MAC powder. This is in the color Medium Deep, and it's the Mineralized Skin Finish. I've had this for about as long as I've had the two liquid foundations, so getting rid of that. Moving on to the foundations I'm going to keep. Just a little recap here are the ones that I'm getting rid of. All this Mary Kay, this MAC, this one I really like, and these two I really like. And then <laughs> the ones I'm going to keep here, I have Lancome Tint Idol Cushion Foundation. I don't speak French. I probably said that all wrong. I do love this foundation. I haven't used it too much because it is a tad, tad, tad bit too dark. So this is a good for my summer color. I just actually haven't used it this summer. Here is the liquid form of that. Love, love, love this. For those of you who might wanna know, I am in the color 460 Suede W for warm and then the same thing, 460 Suede W in the cushion. So these are keeps. Those are definitely high-end foundations. I have my Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup, and this is in the color SW, I'm sorry, 5W2 Rich Caramel or Caramel Potato Potato. Love this foundation. When I wore it, I fell in love with it. Tad bit too dark for me, but I'm going to make it work. It was an expensive foundation, and I actually do like the formula, so this is a keep. Uh, here, these are probably my newest two foundations. We've got the Maybelline Super Stay Stick Foundation and the L'Oreal Infallible Long Wear Shaping Stick. I actually wear these simultaneously because if you can see, the colors are not quite the same. The L'Oreal is a tad bit darker. I'm in Toffee 330 Caramel, Caramel and the Maybelline and then what is this? 409 Honey in the L'Oreal. I mix them together. They're great for quick days. If you want to just do a quick makeup look, it's easy to blend out and just set it with a powder and it's a lot faster than blending in a liquid foundation. So I like these two. 
first all-time favorite foundation of all times. Did I say that already? My Maybelline Superstay foundation. Only thing I don't like about it is a little bit too oily. I have oily combination skin, and I really have to set this with a powder. It does transfer quite a bit. If anyone tells you that it doesn't, it does. But this is my favorite foundation. It's very full coverage. This makes me look airbrushed, and I just love it for when I want a super glam look. Here are my Wet n Wild and my, <coughs> excuse me, my uh, Fit Me, Maybelline Fit Me foundations. I told you all that I do like the formulas. It's just the previous colors were too dark. So I am in the color Cocoa in the Wet n Wild, and I am in 335 in the Matte and Poreless. This 355 actually needs to go over in the throwaway pile because it is too dark. And I actually didn't too much like the dewy formula. I felt like it made me really oily. So that actually goes in the do not pile or the throwaway pile. So those are my keeps. They're the right color. Then we have these two here. We have Urban Decay and the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. This is Urban Decay All Nighter. Love both of these foundations, both very full coverage. And you see I have quite a bit. I kind of use these sparingly because these are really good color matches for me. They were really expensive. These are some of my high-end foundations along with the Estee Lauder and the Lancome. So I do use them sparingly. Um, love them both. Keeping them. And then finally, my second all-time favorite next to my Maybelline Superstay is my CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made. Oh my goodness, my favorite. As you can see, I have two colors. I do have very golden undertones. However, in the summertime with my summer color, I tend to lean towards the neutral side. So I mix the two to get my golden undertone, but my neutral overtone. <laughs> I don't know if that's really a thing, but looking at me, you would think that I'm neutral, but when you put it on my face, then it really drowns me out. So I have to add the warmth of the golden tone uh, with it. So I, I mix those two in the summertime. In the wintertime, I can probably just do strictly T80. Uh, of course, it's not wintertime yet, and this foundation launched in midsummer. So we'll see how that works out in the wintertime. So you all have seen all of my foundations that I'm keeping. I have quite the extensive collection. Reason I have so many foundations was for the longest time. Excuse my feet, don't look at those. For the longest time, I had a hard time finding a color. I don't know why it was so difficult to find colors. And upon joining the YouTube community, I found that I'm not the only one who has that problem. So... It's been a struggle finding the right colors, and I'm so glad that so many brands are extending their color ranges so that I don't have to have, you know, that line here or even down my neck of foundation being too dark, and then you get to my neck and chest. And even now, like, I, I don't have any makeup on. You can see that my neck is clearly quite a few shades lighter than my face, and same thing with my chest. So it... It's nice now to have a foundation that I can look uniform all the way across. And these shades, I don't think I gave all of the shades, but um, some of them are slightly off. Some of them are right on point, but whatever the case is, I can always work with it when I contour or when I put my setting powder that kind of uh, adds a little warmth or goldenness to it. All right, I feel like I've talked enough. I'm tired, I'm hungry. I hope you enjoyed this video and all of my foundations. I used to say that I'm a foundation junkie, but I actually don't have as many as I thought I had, so I'm kind of proud of myself. And I'm getting rid of a lot of clutter, so. These foundations that I showed you that I'm keeping, I do use them in rotation pretty frequently, so they get even wear and tear, and I'm just happy. I love makeup. Do you love makeup? I love makeup. You don't love makeup? What's wrong with you? <laughs> you all have a wonderful evening. Thank you all for watching. Thank you to my new subscribers. 
Haisana, Haisana, I believe I'm saying, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but you just subscribed today and I thank you. I went back and looked at your name, so if you saw my workout video uh, that I posted previous to this or prior to this, then you will see that I attempted to say your name. I remembered it started with an H-A-Y. I'm done. I'm rambling. I'm tired. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to enter the giveaway by commenting below on this video and the previous videos in this Makeup Declutter series. Like, subscribe, go over to my IG page and follow me. And once I reach 100 subscribers, we're at 76 now, it's going. Once I reach 100 subscribers, uh, we're going to do the giveaway. And I will show you a sneak peek as always. Have a good evening. See you all in the next video. Good night.